Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be on some gas mask related communication systems. Uh, I'm going to be covering a lot of this and I've got a special, special video upcoming on the use of gas masks and communications devices. So, this is the low, lower modular headset system. So I'm just going to let you guys kind of read through that. Radio types, respirator microphone. Um, now, these are very, very rare. They're either special forces or police issue. Um, the reference for what I'm using currently is from Norwich Police. Um, they'll see, uh, it's from their CBRN unit during a drug raid, I think. Um, but it's, it's this exact same communication system. Now, the lower communication system is based is directly based off of a Klansman respirator microphone. It is literally a one-to-one -one copy, just with slightly different materials. I'm just gonna load the camera. Um, I don't. I unfortunately don't have mine to hand. Um, but as a one-to-one -one replica, it's basically a one-to-one -one remake of the Klansman respirator. Only the major difference is rather than using the Klansman connector, it uses a TP120 NATO jack. Which means it can be used in all current military PTTs like Swordens, uh, United Fours, etc., etc. Um, it's quite a nice, bulky PTT you know, with a very, very solid, solid actual PTT. You've got your clasp. Uh, it's a very low quality clasp, I must say. I've had better from fucking Z Tactical, um, but whatever. Um, just some markings. This one is made for the police Supura radio, um, mainly used by the English police. I know all the Scottish police are using Motorola L waves and MTH 800s. But yeah, um, we click into the radio, screw in. Um, the actual headset, um, the headset is connected to the PTT, so it will not work independently with all systems. Although you can't, this I I have actually managed to use this. It's just you can't hear anything because it's simply a microphone and not a microphone and a speaker. No, um, this is a clusterfuck on the mannequin head. Uh, with the FM12, it's also the same in real life when I try to use all this together. Um, I'll I'll remove the headset system. It's basically a Bowman, a very very cheapened bowman. Um, you've got your over the head strap, then you've got your round the head strap basically. Um, here is your boom mic, um, very articulated, very very nice, and your actual earphone. The, earf the earphone is also articulated to an extent, it's not very, but it allows a, a wide enough range of motion that you can probably get it near enough your ear. Um, it's an okay communications headset. Um, well, I've also got a single strap variant, and um, that's in that's in the cupboard or the little whatever the fuck. Um, but mainly, this was for use with um, Avon masks, specifically because they've got this secondary speech transmitter, which the clans and microphones clip onto. Um, the FMG weight can't fit it well. It fits it very very tightly, and I don't feel comfortable having it on it. Um, uh, well, will fit the F10 obviously and surprisingly it will fit Scott M95 I don't, I don't think, I don't ever think the Chimera ones had this, the side speech transmitter um, but it will surprisingly fit on brand uh, Scott examples that do have the comm side voice emitter and I'm gonna I could have pulled that, I could have done that easily in fact um, yeah, don't be disheartened by the fact that the things came out with it. It's just, I tend to attach it off of it just so I don't squish the mask. But, anything, any side speech emitter that looks like this, if it'll focus, where it has the little clips, they go in there. So yeah, um, regular FM filters will take it, doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be dual filter. Here this is your, you know, your actual mic speaker, microphone, no, yeah, your microphone, um, your NATO jack, 
it's literally, as said, it's literally just a clansman converted to TP120. I was actually going to get this custom done, but no, I don't need to. Plus, I've got a very, very rare police communication headset. Um, real short video, this will probably be getting used as filler content, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed this because this is one of the rarer parts of my comm setup for gas masks. Um, I'm probably one of the only people with such a comprehensive comms array for gas masks and things. Um, I'm soon to be expecting an Astrail fucking FM12 VPU. These have ne never been seen other than some, I think there's two other collectors that have got them. I'd be the only other one in the UK, Danny McGurk, and another Scottish collector has one. Um, um, they're not, they're, they are seriously never seen. I've only seen like three photos, and it's the Norwegian and Dutch military, I think, using them. Um, so I'll get a video up on that. So without any further ado, I'll end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed something and learned something new about gas masks or anything else. So I'll see you guys in the next one.